He wants you. Yeah. Yeah. He, wants, he has to put his money maker on the channel. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta. You gotta come. With, come at me. Sorry. I know you can't so many. Umbrella. Ready? Umbrella. Umbrella. You say when. <laughs> Mike, make him cough up the cake, okay? Oh, he's going on. You ready? Um, I gotta get the mic. <laughs> you gotta trash. <laughs> you gotta put on his. Uh, you gotta put the mic on Mike. Yeah, Mike needs the mic. Are you opening up that umbrella over there? No? It's already getting open. All the Dave's cigarette ashes all over this board. <laughs> Blow me oh, away. It's disgusting, man. <laughs> it's a, no, it's a spittle that's disgusting. Okay, hang on. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Shake hands. Yeah, that's <laughs> touching good. this guy's diseased hands. <laughs> you want to win on an illegal move? <laughs> Mike, what happens if you go there? What, what's illegal? <laughs> my, my, my pieces were set up wrong. So I won. Right. This is uh, it's one and zero. Let's go. One and zero. Let's go. How do you even have one? No, you you have it. You have it, sir. That's not too shabby. I have a that the players are above a certain rating. You're in front of us? Like a 2000 player can lose to a 1900 player, but a better style. I don't get it either. I'm not saying you're a little bit. It's really up to the I don't know what my hearing is, I don't care. Where's that guy going? <laughs> yeah, where's he going? Somewhere. He's not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, I think you should apologize. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm happy with 1200 rings. I think that's the default. I like, that'll be so fun. And I'm like, okay, everyone, like, get ready. And then I, like, look into it. And it's like, what if you never looked into it? And all of our friends know when it was just something. That doesn't do anything. 
Mike, make him apologize. Oh, he will. <laughs> when I'm done. Apologize now. 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 Written apology, right? Eh? He's an attorney. He can do that for you. What could this add to? Carlin, you're okay? You're I'm good. I feel good. Time. Thanks for asking, though. He doesn't mute. He's very quiet. I know. You gotta mute sometimes. It's a, it's a quiet. It's a quiet thing. Should I get you a cup of water? Uh, no, nah, it's fine. Thanks. Thanks for asking, though. Anytime. You guys might want to play chess at that table over there. Nobody there now. What? No. I will never. This is uh, not going to happen. Not on my watch. I should probably win. Somehow. All right, I'll go this way. What you got now there, Sherlock? What? What? Did I say what enough? Not yet. No? I will not apologize. No. 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 No, no, no. What is this guy up to? What is he down to? All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's get it, boys. What? 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 What in the butt? All right, let me go in. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm getting an idea. Let me just go here. Come on there, uh, Buttikus. Let me up. Yes, I played good in game. Gimme. Wait a second. No. If he goes there. If he goes there and I go there. So we go here. Uh huh. Check. Wait a second. Taking. Wait, 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 wait. So now I go here. Attacking. Right? Right. That's just Oi. the door. I don't even know if it's going to work. Uh, here. Here. Uh, here. 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 Count the pieces. Count the pieces. You know, in games by Carlini, you cannot, you cannot possibly. You're playing the great, when you're playing the great Carlini. I used to be a big meme. Wow, I yeah. knew that one. Yeah. Hey guys, Brent here. Hope you enjoyed the game. This was an intense end game. Very, very, um, very, very tense because, well, like all end games, one wrong move in your toes. So you got to play on your tippy toes and very, very, um, well fought end game between these two. And Carl just, his end game knowledge is too good, too good. Just Kai just made like one wrong move and. Oh man, it just, yeah, it happens. But the crazy thing is, like, as you soon see in the analysis, Kai had a point where he could have won the game, won the end game. We're going to go over that, as well as um, two instances where Carl also could have won the end game. But these are very, very hard to find, but you're going to learn a ton from it because they're really cool ideas, and we're going to go move by move to really deconstruct it, and we are going to learn a ton from it. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Nicely done by these two. Um, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. If you want to get Carlini a cup of coffee, his link is in the video description as well as Kai's. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification too so you don't miss future videos. And check out all the um, Amazon links to chess gear in the video description as well. Alright, so we're going to get to this position. And in the game, f6 was played. And then Carl plays bishop c3. Let's go move back. Pause the video. Will be another move for, for white here. All right, um, to kind of deconstruct this, which side should white play on? This side or this side? In terms of what are what's going to be his best chances of uh, creating a pass pawn? It's probably this side, right? But it's three on three, so how do you do that? Well, this 
pesky pond is kind of preventing the um, the storm from coming. Plus, it's isolated, so it's weak. So you can pick it off with knight c3. So this could be one continuation. Knight e7. This knight, uh, you got to play this because you got to play defense because you know what's coming. It's going to become three on two, and White's going to create a passer along and with some help with his bishop and knight, um, it's going to start bearing down. So White's got or Black's got to bring in some defense. So knight takes pawn. Knight c8. B4. Here comes the uh, the storm. Take take. Um, Black's going to try to create some counterplay on it on the other side, but here comes b5. Bishop e7, you'll soon see why. And here comes the bishop attacking the pawn. Now bishop defending the pawn. Take, take. c5, b takes, pawn takes. And now look at white controlling the square. Um, twice, defended twice, and um, black pushing on the other side, but you know what's coming. Um, well, bishop attacking this pawn, so defend. And here we go, b6. And how does black stop this? I mean, I mean, obviously, if you take it, you're going to be down a piece. But um, and uh, once they're going to lock this um, pawn into play. But going back here, even if bishop b8, then you have obviously push and then knight over because it's being attacked. And then bishop d6 and knight check and defending the pawn and if you try to um to defend the pawn and attack the knight then you get this fork here and oops and if you just want to avoid repetition you can just take the um the piece and uh and and black will be down a piece so that could have been one way one one way for um for white to um for white to play that position. Let's go a little bit later on in the game though and another opportunity for white here in the game bishop f4 was played. Let's go move back. Pause the video. Will be another move for, for white here. Alright, white can play bishop f6 and it looks like this pawn's going to roll away, right? But um, do the square of the pawn rule. So the rule is you create a square so it's four squares away from queening. So one, two, three, four. And the rule is, if it's white's turn to move and he can enter in the square of the pawn, then he can catch the pawn. So since he's already in the square of the pawn, um, it's fine. He's going to um, catch the pawn. So d3. And um, not a lot that black can do. He's got to keep an eye on that h-pawn. And if he decides to liquidate here, then this is just going to be pretty much how the end of the game went. So, yeah, that would have been one way to go for white there. Uh, but uh, last but not least, let's figure out how Kai could have won that won that end game. Um, we're gonna get to this position, and in the game, h4 was played, and then d2 was played. Let's go move back. Pause the video. Do you guys see it? Yes, the beautiful bishop takes e5, and what happens if bishop takes? See you later, d2. So, going back here. Um, First h5, king h7, bishop back. Now this bishop is going pawn hunting on the dark squares, and um, white has to do a lot of work here. I mean, it's got to um, prevent that a pawn from queening. But here comes, here comes the e pawn. So what do you do as white here? Um, if you go back, then black king has all the time in the world to come and kick that bishop out. And if the white king tries to help, then of course you have a2, and white cannot dance at two parties at the same time. So um, going back here, bishop takes. I mean, it doesn't matter either way. Black is totally winning here. But I want to show you something cool. So basically, um, black has all the tempos in the world, and white can't defend that pawn. So here, uh, you just take the pawn right. Ooh, stalemate. Yeah, see. So in the end game, you gotta be really, really careful. Like here, you don't you don't take the pawn. You play king c3, and then so just a little wrinkle there. You th yeah, it's easy to think the game is over, but in in the heat of blitz with seconds left, it's really, really easy to take that pawn and get stalemate like this. So you gotta be careful in that end game. But but very, very cool end game between these two. Learned a ton of stuff and um, hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a lot from it too. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification and thanks. I will see you guys later.